on the fifth video, and I already regret this decision, but I'm trying to keep up with it. So for today, I'm going to be talking about my five favorite booktubers. They are the people that create content that I enjoy the most on the booktube community. Um, the first one is actually going to be the most popular one, and that's going to be Daniel Green on Daniel Green. I'll put a link in the description. Um, he reviews a lot of epic fantasy, and also talks about a lot of other various subjects. He does a really cool series about fantasy news, where it's mostly talking about um, movie adaptions coming out, and it's really super interesting. Um, I enjoy his content, he's been doing this for a while. His videos are pretty high quality. Um, but he also talks about fantasy, and that's something I really enjoy, though most people on this list aren't going to be talking about fantasy, which is kind of weird, but there you go. And this is in no particular order. These are all people I really enjoy. Number two is going to be Sam over at Sarcasm and Sci-Fi. Um, I really... She's probably one of my favorite booktuber. Um, her videos are very... They're just very fun and very honest, and it never feels like she's trying very hard at what she's doing. That may seem insulting, but it always feels very natural whenever she makes a video, and it's always super interesting. Um, oh god, I'm really bad at this, because I'm not thinking things through. I'm just kind of like, ooh, that's a good idea, let's go with it. But her videos never really feel that way, even when they are their way... I mean, she edits hers, and I don't edit mine. I'm shitty at this stuff. Um, but it's like watching a friend. It's really awesome. I really enjoy her content. Um, moving on, let's go with number three, Alex Black at Alex Black. Um, also, sarcasm and sci-fi. Lots of sci-fi. And, and she does some fantasy and some, like, other stuff, but... I really enjoy her take on things. Now back to Alex Black over at Alex Black. She does not read that much sci-fi or fantasy. She reads a lot of more of the YA literary stuff. And I'm not a huge fan of literary or YA, but I really do enjoy her videos and her take on things. Um, it's not... A lot of the booktubers I watch seem to not really fit into what I generally like. But I like to hear people's takes on things I don't enjoy way more than I like hearing people say the things that I feel about books. So her and me not really seeing eye to eye on those books is one of the reasons I really love her. It's just great to watch. Um, she also comes up as very nice and sweet, and it's awesome. So I highly recommend her, too. And that will bring me to number four, which is Daryl over at Hypeword who is somebody that reads a lot of, like, dystopian and sci-fi stuff, and which is, and again, another subject I really don't like. And he takes a very more analytical stance on things, where, like, Sam over at Sarcasm and Sci-Fi is more just her opinion, but Daryl over at Hypeword, he seems more analytical about it, which is something I appreciate. And his is very solid stuff. It's not as, like, funny and emotional as other people's on this list, but it's something I really enjoy watching. Then the very last person is going to be um, Courtney over at Court the Reader, who is fairly new to reading, and I think that's why I really enjoy her take on things, because it's coming from fresh eyes. I've been someone who's been reading consistently for years now, and so having watching someone make videos where they are not... They haven't become a little bit cynical about the way books are written. is really refreshing to watch. And this video is kind of crap. Um, these are five people who make way better videos than I do. So if you're not subscribed to them, you should be. They're a lot of fun. They are not me. Thank God, right? So, um, that's going to be it for today. I really enjoy these creators. They are just some of my favorites. Um, and that's going to be it. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.